Today, I'm going to show you how to put your radiator support on your 67 Nova. So, let's go over the things you'll need to put it in. First, obviously, the radiator support. Besides that, you'll need four 3 8 inch bolts and four 5 16 inch bolts. And whatever sockets you need to use to drive them in. And some alignment pins. So, first thing you're going to do is lay it on these slots. Make sure this lip goes over the radiator support. Now with it in place, we're going to put in the lower bolts. We're just going to leave them in loose for the moment. Some of these bolt holes are not going to line up and we'll need a little finagling to help them line up. Such as using an alignment pin in the other hole to move the subframe. You know, it's always the last one that tries to fight you. Now we're going to move on to doing the top ones. What you're going to really want to use is an alignment pin to help line up these holes. You can see how these holes don't really line up. So what you're going to want to use is an alignment pin to move the holes around so you can put your bolts in. Well, that's the first side. Now it's time to move on to the fun side. And of course I chose the longest bolt for this hole. Well, it's in now, so let's go around and snug them all up. While you're tightening your bolts down, make sure that it's as flush as you can get it all the way around. So you might be able to see here where the radiator support isn't quite flush with the subframe. So I'm going to try pull it in while tightening the bolts down. Okay. That's about as flush as I can get it. You also might see these holes right here. These holes are for the hood adjustment bolts, but since we aren't putting the hood on right now, I'm not going to put them in. There are also these four bolt holes that attach the radiator support to the subframe. I'm not putting this hardware in right now because this radiator support isn't staying on the car, but when we are finished, this is the hardware we will be using. A bolt with a washer, goes through the hole and on the other side a flat, a lock washer, and a nut. Just like this. And you would use this hardware for all the bolt holes on both sides of the car. Down here at the bottom there's normally a rivet in this hole on both sides but what we're gonna end up doing is just putting a bolt in there. Alright guys, we got the radiator support in here now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Consider subscribing because in the next episode, we're going to be doing something pretty special for this car. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.